Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome back to Daily Dose Radio. Yesterday, I reminded you about the Daily Dose Radio mobile app. The mobile app is for iPhone and for the Android device. You can find that in your favorite Play Store or App Store, and it's free. Just go out and pick it up. You'll have Daily Dose Radio right there at your fingertips. But today I want to remind you that we're also on all of your favorite social sites. You'll find Daily Dose Radio uploaded to Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, uh, Pinterest. Of course, it's on SoundCloud. It's also on um, YouTube. So some very favorite social sites that you can find Daily Dose Radio. You can go out and check it out. You'll find also on YouTube and on Facebook the Creek Road Baptist Pulpit, and that is also one of our church's podcasts. You'll I hope you'll enjoy those as well. You get to hear my pulpit ministry at Creek Road Baptist Church. We're looking today at Psalm 147, verses 13 and 14. Let me read you my translation. He will strengthen the bars of your gates. He will bless your sons within you. Your territory will have peace. He will cause you to be satisfied with the choicest wheat. (laughs) Yes, sir. Again, we're answering the because. Why do we want to praise this God? Why is praise beautiful? Well, because, and we had a long list last week. This week, we have another praise statement. Praise the Lord, O Jerusalem. Praise your God, O Zion. Very specific, Jerusalem and Zion. We're talking about the church, both the church on the earth, the visible church, and the church invisible, the universal church. The Zion church is invisible and universal. The Jerusalem church is visible. It is what this generation sees as those disciples of Christ. That's how the ancient church has seen this particular verse. So we still want to answer the why question. What? Why do we need to praise him? Why does the church praise the Lord? Well, because, number one, O Jerusalem, he strengthens the bars of your gate, that bar that stretched across the top of the gate that held everything together. It was that thing that knit the entire opening together, and that brought safety. It also brought security that the wall, that part of the wall, was going to hold the other piece that's connected to it together. So the strengthening of the bars of the gates is a very important idea. And who does that? Who, who does that? Who strengthens bars and gates? God does that because people were living at that time in cities. And so there is a heavenly Jerusalem. He intends to strengthen the bars of that gate as well. And he will bless the sons within you. Those children that the church has, they're going to increase. That's God's plan, you know. He began by giving the first command to men by saying, Be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over. So, Those sons within are going to increase because that's God's plan for the church as well as for men. Your territory will have peace. Well, of course, we'll understand that now because we know that God is doing this work. So when God blesses and he strengthens, we know that there's going to be peace in the area in which we live. He will cause you to be satisfied with the choicest wheat. That's a pretty standard translation the word that I'm translating here, choice, means fat, the richest wheat. It's the top shelf brand of wheat. That's the idea. It's, it's the very best. It's not just any old wheat, but this happens to be the food that's the choicest. It's the fattest. It's the most decadent and delicious. This is what God is going to do. He's going to satisfy those within Jerusalem and Zion with the very choicest wheat. And so he does. He feeds us with the bread from heaven, doesn't he? Jesus said, your fathers ate bread that came down from heaven and they died, but I'm going to give you bread that will give you life eternal. Oh, and here we have being satisfied with choice wheat. I'd say the bread that gives life eternal, that's pretty choice wheat. Join me again tomorrow. We'll look at some more of these because statements on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.